good evening everyone welcome to my channel and likewise welcome to physics practical class 2 with estimator editing yes as we are all preparing for work physics practical tomorrow uh, let's I'll start with analysis of what we are expecting tomorrow now based on question number one which is mechanics I'll start my analysis on mechanics tonight and with all the requirements given to us and uh, what I and you are expecting I want us to come from this angle of um, formula that are uh, the following formulas if you remember we have a formula for period that says uh, 2 pi over root L over G and we also have another formula we talk about uh, 2 pi root M over K if you check very well when do we use each of them we use this one majorly when there is oscillation of um, time and length and why we use this one when there is, is the oscillation of maybe mass mass and period but this time around we are having an experiment that talks about mass definitely okay that is a spring constant and likewise we also have an experiment that is talking about <laughs> length definitely you all know that with gravity also is involved in this situation to balance things and to bring out what i and you are expecting tomorrow i mean to call this one equation one and permit to call this one equation two if i equate equation one and two i'll be having two pi root l over g equals to two pi m over k remember i'm doing analysis on uh, question number one that are you expecting tomorrow come physics practical for those of you that you, you are just watching our video please do wait to subscribe press the notification button like and share like and share and also we'll be expecting your comments let's continue without any wasting of time i don't want the video to be longer because we have a lot to do this one cancel this one and remember root we cancel root in the short form i have l over g equals to m over k in that sense now i'm having I want to make my case of the formula I'm having mg over L. Hmm. Watch out for this formula. Watch out for this formula. Now, you know, in this experiment, we were told, I have, we were told that we should make 100 gram as unknown mass tomorrow. And remember, we have a length. You know, when, after using your ruler on both sides, taking 5 cm from left, taking 5 cm from right our l is 90 centimeter tomorrow's experiment 90 centimeter that's our l now and we know it now depends on you pick your value of g if you like you call your own g 9.8 9.9 10.0 10.1 10.2 but this time around me i want to use a common one 10 meter per second squared so on that sense i'll be having k equals to 100 times 10 over 90 when you do it right i'm having 1000 over 90 which is finally 11.1 whatever whatever newton per centimeter newton per centimeter this is my spring constant you will see in the question they will ask you to find k they will ask you to find k this is the k they are talking about what are, from this k now i can deduce the value of my y1 my y2 and you know when i get my y1 and y2 i cannot say d equals to y2 minus y1 so for the issue of uh, mechanics permit me to stop there i think this one is a green light the next thing is just that from this we can generate values for our tables our can generate you know you'll be given value of x and here you, you supply from here you generate your y you, you generate your y that is the initial one you generate your y y1 will be the initial one y2 will be the new one so you know the difference of this is your d and at the end of the day you plot your graph you have to plot the graph of uh 
maybe the graph of D against X. And at the end of the day, you find your slope. And in that slope, whatever they want to do in that slope, it will still come and refer you back to this K. This K is a banker, is a joker there for you to bank on as this exam is concerned for mechanics number one. I will stop there. So my, my professional colleagues that we are in the line, take over from there also and make tomorrow a better day for your students. Yes, uh, still on it. Uh, let's now say in the question, they ask you to, they, they are bringing K in this format, maybe K equals to 100 over SL, where your S is slope. You know, we have not plotted any graph, we don't have any slope. But I and you, we have gotten our K. We can move it to our X, saying that 11.11 um, 11 equals to 100 over X times, you know, our L is 90, 90 centimeter. So in that situation, if I cross multiply, I'll be having X equals to, sorry for jumping step because of time, I'll be having 11.11 .11 times 90. So in that situation, I'll be having 100 over, let me press my um, 11. Point eleven times ninety. I think I'm having uh, nine hundred and ninety nine. Nine hundred and ninety nine point nine. Nine hundred and ninety nine point nine. I believe we are making sense together. This platform is meant for all of us to enjoy, to benefit from one another. So, and to help one another. Your success is my success. So, we need to drive things together. So, divided by 100 divided by 99.9. .9. So, I want to remember I want to drive my slope. And here on my slope, I have x equals to 0 0.1. I have my x equals to 0 0.1. Now, I have known my slope. You can see what I'm doing. It's like I'm playing back. In order to get a means of generating my values for y1 and y2 respectively especially to get my d's so remember my slope we'll be talking about the change in the vertical over change in the horizontal let's say they are uh, they are talking about as do change in d let's say my d is y2 minus y1 change in d over maybe change in x Maybe my D will be speaking Y2 minus Y1. It's like, are you, are you with me now? So something like that. I remember I've gotten 0 0.1. So I will now be having 0 0.1 as change in D over change in X. Remember, there will be values for X. I'll just be making my D sort of formula and I'll be generating values. You know, there will be values for X. There will be values for S. Maybe value of X. Maybe X at 20, 25, 30, at whatever, whatever like that. But from there, I would have picked the one to make my range of change in the horizontal axis. So to cut long story short, and I don't want the video to be long, like I said. So I'll be having 0 0.1 times change in X as my D. So whatever I have as the answer would be my change in D, uh, that is my change in the vertical axis. And from there... I will continue to get my other values. Permit me to stop here so that I can pick up another video. So I think what I, the video I have done right now here, it, it will be very helpful for you and likewise other, my, my other professional colleagues to make tomorrow a sweet and a better day for all of us. So I think my professional colleague, you can take it off from there for your students. And likewise, students, you also, I believe you also will have a great tutor that will continue from there. To generate more values all right thank you let me now move to the next uh, aspect let me make my number uh, let me go to electricity right now and the electricity will be let's talk about it now yes um as our electricity is concerned um this experiment has been taken care of so because of time and i don't want the video to be longer 
so I move straight to the table of the values you know you we have L measurement that L you know you know what give us all these things let me start from here and, and anytime you are doing practical electricity the first thing you do you measure the EMF of your cell the EMF of my cell is 3 volts that's the EMF of my battery the 2 battery 1.5 that's 3 volts and during the adjustment of my real start to make sure I get the peak value of current and voltage so that's the peak value of voltage and the peak value the, that is the maximum value of current and the voltage so now I move straight to the prior experiment itself as at 10 I have my I 0 0.38 and volt at uh, voltmeter at 1.00 like that and that's it because of time I move to slope if you check this graph very well you know they will have to plot the graph of um, V on the vertical axis against I on the horizontal axis so when you are plotting this type of graph you need to know that from the relationship you are seeing here the I is increasing while the volt is decreasing the I is increasing the vote is decreasing so that's an observation earlier this is an this is inverse relationship and what is what caused the inverse relationship because of this length you know we are adjusting our uh, l on the potential meter so in that situation our graph will be falling we have a graph that will look like something like this i don't have like i said i don't want the graph to be, I mean the video to be longer so the graph will fall like this if i have my votes here in votes uh, my i here in i so the, uh, the slope will now be saying the change in votes over the change in i let's uh, from my own graph I will work with my is value here then we work with my is value so I'm having 0 0.8 my 0 0.80 minus 1.00 over 0. 46 minus 0 0.38 and at the end of the day my slope is minus 0 0.20 over that is um if i do this one i'll be having 0 0.46 minus 0 0.38 i'm having 0 0.08 0 0.08 so finally, if I have minus 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.08, I'm having minus 2.5. My slope is minus 2.5. What's the unit of volts is volts. A unit of current is ampere. So that is my slope. And with this now, I think I have settled a little bit part of electricity remember we have talked about mechanics you know tomorrow you won't do more than two out of one two three just pick any two you like so with the video i have currently now i'm having mechanics solved and i'm having electricity circuit so you plot your graph they may ask you to find the intercept on the graph and you go ahead and you continue don't forget your precautions on both sides don't forget your precautions don't forget the precautions also on electricity you know you are using wire so precaution about wire both meter high meter potential meter parallel zero all that those are the key points you need to make mention as your uh, precaution is concerned and uh, here about mechanics remember since you are using length as well the meter rule that is uh, you avoided error due to parallax uh, all those your uh, whatever what do you call it again you make sure you know your pointer your pointer will be the, the pointer will be locating uh what do you call it be locating your ruler all those things you need to put in action and don't worry they may also ask you all those simple simple theory questions maybe on that mechanism they will ask you to say the principle of moment they will on that mechanism they can say you should say the principle of moment don't forget the sum of the clockwise moment is equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moment and for the electricity side they can also ask you question about uh, electricity maybe they may ask you question about uh, potentiometer the relationship between potentiometer that is your e and l you can ask a question on that but don't forget since now we'll be working about e1 
over L1 equals to E2 over L2. Uh, yes, let me stop here for tonight as I'm wishing you all the best. So, seeing you celebrating yourself with distinctions in physics, is still your physics tutor, estimator, and to g Please do where to subscribe, like, share, put your comment there. I love you. Bye.